Z, I heard you watched Ahsoka. More like a sloka. Like a mentally? I s- I said it's like a sloka because it's slow. Mentally slow. No, like a boring. Because they hired a bunch of slow people. No, I mean, like Rosario Dawson. She's definitely a little slower and than Ray she used to be. Stevenson. Nope. R.I.P. He, he's dead. He's a little slower than he used to be too. Because he's dead. He's cool though. I think the cast is like not terrible. So Star Wars dropped. Isn't Anakin in this? Not yet, but so far they've dropped more Star Wars Trek on us. What I will say though is it's not as bad as Kenobi, and it's not as bad as uh, it. Andor is better. I liked Kenobi. It's you didn't watch Kenobi. I did. You did not. I did. You mean the part where they smuggled a little girl out under his shirt? Yeah. And I you said that, that was great. I you just like that. smuggling children. I do. Well, and it's not as bad as Mandalorian season three or the Book of Boba Fett. So it's better than those things, but it's not good enough to save Star Wars. That's the general consensus, and I agree with that. After Disney two Plus episodes, they're still going to try though. They're still going to lose subscribers, and in order to watch this show, you apparently had to do a ton of homework because I've never seen Rebels. Have you? Uh, no. If you don't watch Rebels, you're not going to know who any an of these people show, are. Right? Yes, for children. Wasn't that like it's not new anymore? No, it's- it was like five years ago. It ended. And Clone Wars, which I have also never seen, so I don't know what's going on. So you need to watch a whole bunch of animated things that ended years ago to know what's going on. Yes, if you go on to Disney+, Plus, it even says you should should check out all these these things to catch up on Ahsoka. Instead of watching our new show, you should spend, I don't know, 40 hours of your life They need more watch time to get monetized. They do. Just like us. I get it. Okay. Yeah, they're they're pulling a trick. Yeah, good for them. The basic plot of Ahsoka is that there's a big baddie who's hiding and they need to get a thing to tell him how to get to a place so they could stop the big baddie. That's it. That's the plot. So they literally need to get a map just like in Rise of Skywalker. They need to get a wayfinder. Oh boy. This sounds great already. So it's, there's the, a, it's the last Skywalker? Yes. It's, there's a massive plot hole that I have Sky, not... No, it's the rise of Skywalker. Correct. But I there's a massive plot hole that I have not seen a single person talk about. No, oh boy. As from Heels vs. Babyface, Critical Drinker, all of them have missed this. So I'm going to point it out right now. No, this needs to be a separate video where it's Ahsoka ending explained. Uh, Ahsoka Just like plot hole explained? Run. Ahsoka plot hole explained. Yeah. Okay. So they're trying to find the location of General Thrawn. Right? He's the robot guy with the multiple lightsabers. That is... No, that's General Grievous. Shit. General Thrawn is from the Heir to the Empire Timothy Zahn novels, which I have read. And are very good. But they're just... They're going to bastardize this and put Ahsoka in it. It's not going to be good. So he's like this tactical genius that worked for the Empire, but they didn't like him because they were racist. It's very up your alley. Okay. So anyway, (laughs) this is the stupid part. Ahsoka has to find a map that has been buried in some like Daramir witch swamp. Like some like it's basically the beginning of of the show is Indiana Jones where she has to like get some sort of ancient artifact to find a map. General Thrawn has not been hiding for a thousand years. So why would they bury a map of him inside some sort of relic from like a thousand years ago? I don't know. None does, no one explains anything, and that's the biggest plot hole. There's literally 20 minutes of, of, of Ahsoka trying to solve like a Resident Evil style puzzle where she has to like turn, she has to like turn these like little pillars so they click. Yeah. So they like focus a light beam just like an Indiana Jones on like a certain spot. So some ancient relic could be revealed. General Thoron is not a thousand years old. We're talking about the Clone Wars, which is like 20 years ago. So wh- why would they hide it inside of an ancient artifact? Like none of it makes sense. They banished him to a place that takes 
like a million years. None of it makes sense. Oh, my God. It's just so giant plot hole right from the beginning. She gets assaulted by a bunch of like. Sexually? Yes. By uh, robots, no less. Is it really? Mm -hmm. She pierces them with her. She has a strong. What? She she uses her. She has two of them and she pierces them. She's just going hard. So she she pegs them. (laughs) <laughs> That's the other confusing part. She claims she walked away from the Jedi because, because you know, Anakin started doing some bad stuff. Like, boo, boo hoo! Anakin was mean to her. Okay. Right. So, boo hoo! I walked was away she from one the of Jedi. The kids that Anakin didn't kill. No, she was his Padawan. Oh. Do, so that's in the Clone Wars. In the Clone Wars, Anakin had a Padawan. And that's her. Yes. So he did some mean things that she didn't like, and she not left. Not killing her, though. It didn't kill he her. He didn't kill her. No one knows why. She should be dead, but no one did knows why try she's to not. Did kill her? D- no, apparently nobody knows, because they didn't film that or talk about it. Yes, that's what Ahsoka is. Okay. It's this. So far, does it sound good to you? Not really. All right. Well, there you go. I mean... How it, much lightsaber action is in this? Here's another good point of this. So... Ahsoka is a Jedi with two lightsabers, but not much else. She's literally a plank of wood. And I know Rosario Dawson is actually a pretty good actress. She's very charming. This character, I don't know anything about this character. She literally doesn't talk at all and just stands around with her arms crossed all the time. Yeah, I'm telling you. She's just a brooding whore. Yeah, if she speaks more than like five lines in the first episode, I'd be shocked. She doesn't talk at all. She doesn't explain her inner model. Are these nothing. Hour long episodes. The first one is definitely an hour long. The next one's like forty five minutes. Oh my god! It's it's so slow. They just like stare at each other broodingly. There's a lot of like unintentional sexual tension between the ladies. There's a lot of ladies in this, fellas. Not a lot of. There's one dude in the whole thing. Only one attractive lady, though. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, um, Ahsoka. You said lightsaber duels, and this is spoilers for the first two episodes. Again, someone gets stabbed in the chest with a lightsaber and does not die. Again. I feel like this goes against what a lightsaber would I would think do. a lightsaber would cut. If you remember, okay, let's think about this. What happens when Darth Vader attacks Luke with his lightsaber? Uh, what time? Any t- the first time they fight each other. They don't. He, what does he lose? His arm? Yes. Right? So he dies. Or he doesn't die, but he loses his arm, right? Yeah. And then um, the, I'm trying to think like, oh, uh, Kwai John G- Jin. What happens to him? Gets cut in half? No, he gets stabbed through the chest. Oh. And he yeah, dies. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then what happens to Darth Maul? He gets cut in half. Yeah, but in he doesn't die because that's a, uh, that's a Dave Filoni thing, right? Dave Filoni brings him back. Who else loses their arm? Oh, yeah. Anakin totally loses an arm. Yep. Uh Uh-huh. Count Dooku Dooku loses his head. Yep. Right? So lightsabers are supposed to kill people, right? Yep. Well, apparently, uh, the chick in Obi-Wan, what's her name? Rhea? Rhea? Nope. No, Reva. Uh, uh, Yeah. Doug Reva. Reva. Yeah. (laughs) Reva. Jesus. Reva gets gets stabbed Uh and die. It doesn't die. Twice. Yeah. She gets stabbed twice. She gets stabbed as a youngling and gets stabbed in Obi-Wan. Well, Sabine gets stabbed in the chest or in the stomach, and she's like a day later. She's good. Did you know that... You won't even believe this. David Tennant is in this show. Is he really? Yeah, he plays a droid. Oh. <laughs> he should play a Sith Lord. He should, but he plays a droid. That's stupid. So they're just so this is this is shocking. It's from NPR. They're like, this sucks so far. What are we doing here? Dude, it's only six episodes. And you're already two episodes in, and it's not good. And Ray Stevenson is in it. He's good, but nothing, like, not much happens. There's, like, maybe, it, there's not a lot. Dave Filoni, not good. And he brings back all of these people from Rebels, and I don't know who any of them are. Because you didn't watch Rebels. No, and so you talk about the girls, right? You wanted to talk about the girls? Yeah, where's the hot one? Well, first, let's talk, Kotaku says, this is where the fun begins. 
More Hera, more Sabine. Yeah, they 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 put in a chick. She's a Twilic. Well, who's up? Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah. Yeah, she's in it. She no, she's like a she's plank of wood up. too. Yep. There's this cat thing. That's kind of cool. No, that's kind of cute. I like it. Yeah, I like that guy. He's cool. There's like a there's there's Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Not no people don't like this. So slay baby. I'm it's good. so yeah, slay. <laughs> <laughs> She's green and weird looking. Uh huh. But what they do do? Stop this. Sunday ticket. Nope. Oh, this review too. It's uh, two stars from the Guardian. It's more bad Star Wars in a galaxy too far away to care about. No one likes this. This is terrible. Oh, David Tennant voice droid is a missed opportunity. Yeah, I think the guy won like an award for the droid, and and not not in this. He's not winning anything. All female trio. It's all women. Oh my god! Like I said, the only man in it is is one man. He's bad, <laughs> and he has a little girl that follows him around. He's a bad man. He's a bad man. Can you guess what he is? Uh, Ray Stevenson. I don't know. Sith Lord. No, I, I'm communist. Close enough. Republican. Nope. Getting closer though. Shit. He's your favorite Fascist. color. Is he a fascist? No, he's your favorite color. He's black? No. White? Ray Stevenson? <laughs> Do they blackface him? No. Oh okay. my god, you're the worst. What? I don't understand. What do you mean? Like, what do you? Uh, what is he? Well, here's the biggest crime of this entire show. <coughs> you take this woman, Natasha Lou Bordizzi, yeah. Bordizzo. She's attractive. She's cute. Cute as a button. Australian. She's got some funky red hair with a little purple. She's supposed to play Ray or Sabine Wren, whoever that is. Yep. Don't know who it is. From the show you should watch before this. Uh, yes, the homework you need to do before this. Well, apparently they turn her into this. Oh boy. <laughs> A young Asian boy. They transition her. <laughs> yes. To That's what she ends up as. John and it, Cho from Howard and Kumar. Yep. She she should be the lead in um, Cowboy Bebop. Oh my God, she should be. This is not pleasant. Cowboy bee titties. I mean, they are they're, maybe oh, they're bee cups. Be, be, cowboy bee cups. Yep, that's what she is. Cowboy bee cups. This is not good, folks. It's not good at all. Yeah. And there's like a whole extra like you know how the Sith are supposed to be like two bad guys. But the Inquisitors, there's like a lot of them. Sure. But it, none of it, the lore doesn't make any sense anymore, right? There's supposed to be like a master, like there's a Sith, Sith master, and then a Sith apprentice, right? The Emperor. I think that's how that works. And Darth Vader, and then the Emperor, and, uh, you know, Darth Sidious, and Darth Maul, mm -hmm. or Count Dooku. Yeah. All, all those people are places. Well, one dies, the other takes his place. Mm -hmm. Then Anakin. Right. Yeah, makes sense. Well, there's like a guy. I don't know if he's Sith or not. They call them gray Jedi. I don't even know. They don't explain it. But Ray Stevenson's a dark Jedi or like a Sith Lord. You don't know. Is what? And he is an apprentice. The episode's called Master and Apprentice. And then there's some third guy, and 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 this is a fight in the second episode. And I literally, I was like, is this guy an android? Or is he a robot? Or is he a human? Like, I don't know what he is. He's just a dude in a costume with, like, a spinning blade that was just like Reva's. And I'm like, what is going on here? They don't explain it. They don't explain if he's a, a human, a not human, an alien. They don't explain anything. The show doesn't explain anything. You had to have watched Rebels to understand, apparently. And I didn't. So I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I sure know not a lot of people are going to buy these toys, though. No one's going to buy these toys. Not even gonna try. Who's gonna buy that toy? Uh, I don't think anybody. Are you gonna pay twenty five dollars? In look, it says it's in stock. Six inch Sabine Wren Ahsoka be. action figure. It should be in stock. Jesus, that's no one's thing. gonna buy that. No, no, this is bad. McFarland Toys is not making business on this. No, I don't think that. I hope it's not McFarland Toys. I wouldn't agree to that. So anyway, what do you guys think? Do you like this? Are I, again, am subjecting myself to torture by m making myself watch more terrible Star Wars. I watched both episodes. It's garbage. 
Remember, I had the giant plot hole first. Tell me if you saw it. Tell me if you realized it too. I need support. Share. Comment. We need as many comments as we can get. Please leave us a comment below. Tell us what you think. We could use it. It helps us greatly as we try to grow this channel. We love all y'all. Catch our live stream. I'm going to link it up here. It's a thing. You'll come see us. We promise it'll be a good time. Lots of stuff and giveaways and things. And Yeah, we love you. We're on to the next one.